Hello and welcome to another standard game video. Today I'm excited to present this squirming emergence combo deck built around the new card from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan, a 3 mana sorcery saying return to the battlefield target a null and permanent card in your graveyard with mana value less than or equal to the number of permanent cards in our graveyard. And what are we trying to bring back? Mostly Atraxa, one with a multiverse and a portal to Phyrexia at 7, 8 and 9 mana respectively, which means we need to put a lot of permanents in our graveyard. And in order to help us, we've got some self-mill effects, starting at 1 mana with Consider, which can surveil 1 and draw a card, potentially putting a permanent in the graveyard. Gaze we can cast and flash back, letting us surveil 3, so that's potentially 3 permanents going to the graveyard. And then important at 2 mana is both founding the third path alongside Picklock Prankster, and these are kind of the glue that hold the deck together, since there are self-mill effects that still count as permanents, Prankster is a creature and founding is an enchantment. We can start from chapter 1, where we get to cast an instant or sorcery spell with mana value 1 or 2 from our hand without paying its mana cost, which can include some of these cheaper cantrips or some of our removal spells as well, and we can even cast the adventure from Picklock Prankster. Then on chapter 2, target player mills 4 cards, so that's another chance of filling the graveyard. And finally, we exile target instant or sorcery card from our graveyard, copy it, and we may cast the copy. So even though we're exiling a card from our graveyard, it's an instant or sorcery, and those weren't contributing towards our descent count for the squirming emergence, so we don't feel bad about it. So that's another chance of getting back a removal spell, a self-mill effect, or potentially even the emergence itself if we've got enough permanence in the graveyard and if we have the mana to cast it. And then, as we mentioned, the Prankster can also mill additional cards with the Adventure, milling four cards, and then putting an instant sorcery or fairy card from among the milled cards into our hand, so we can find additional copies of the Prankster and our author interaction and, of course, the Emergence itself. And then we can also play it as a 1-3 creature with Flying and Vigilance to help play defense. And then our removal includes four copies of Cutdown, two copies of Gopher to Throat, and then also very important is Bitter Triumph, as an instant that can destroy a creature or planeswalker, and as an additional cost we either pay three life or discard a card, which is actually an advantage in this deck, since we can now discard all these expensive permanents that might be stuck in our hand to not only not have to pay the life, but also enable our squirming emergence, and then we can try and reanimate those cards afterwards. Sometimes we still want to hold expensive cards if we can cheat one with the multiverse into play, we can play them for free. So going one with a multiverse after bringing it back with emergence and then immediately casting portal or Atraxa can also be pretty nice. And then our mana base is pretty simple, just lots of untapped lands that can produce multiple colors. We want to try and make blue and black mana early, and then starting turn 3 we want some green, so we don't really need to focus on the untapped green on the early turns. And then uh, I'm avoiding tap lands since we want to try and use up our mana early on. We've got plenty of cheap cantrips and other removal that we want to cast, so we want to avoid tap lands at all costs. And then the channel lands can offer a tiny bit more utility as well. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play. What do we think of this hand? No blue mana is the main concern. Although as soon as we find it, founding helps us mill. We've got some interaction. Bitter Triumph can discard one with a multiverse. Don't hate it. Opponent green whites enchantments. Found our blue mana. So for now, can pass, likely cutting down the visitor. Companion triggers. And then we could start by just milling with the founding. Was an argument for casting Bitter Triumph last turn, so we could keep up cut down here. Milled plenty of permanents, that's nice. So we're up to three. And then founding will be a fourth. Next turn we can get back cut down. And then still maybe flashback gaze or cast triumph, discarding one with a multiverse. Weaver of Harmony is not going to survive for long. So we'll take our draw. And then get back cut down. Which does not 
decrease the number of permanents in our graveyard, so it doesn't feel bad here. Okay, play land and pass. I'm putting upkeep stops on the off chance that we want to flashback gaze. And Calyx is certainly a must answer. And an audacity. Okay, so we'll deal with companion. Discarding one with a multiverse. So they don't get to draw for audacity. And then I guess we can upkeep a gaze. If I add three more permanents, we could technically get back one with a multiverse if we also draw land afterwards. Not very likely, but gotta give it a shot. And two more permanents cut down, also not very useful. And Atraxa the draw. So if the Atraxa came first, then we might have been able to combo off here. Either way, we can now Bitter Triumph, taking out Calyx. And then discard Atraxa, and then next turn Emergence, one with a Multiverse is an option. Or we can keep Atraxa in hand to cast for free with one with a Multiverse. Kami happens. And a Reign of Truth. Okay, so we'll take out Calyx now. Paying three, I think, keep Atraxa in hand, although it's a close call. Since I currently don't have a way of adding another permanent to the graveyard. Yeah, we should just put Atraxa in the graveyard. And then... Hopefully we'll be able to take over with one with a multiverse. And there's another one. So I'm lacking my chances. Play this for free, and then we have a cutdown available. Still at 18 life. Even if they have a Boseju for one of them, we'll still be able to keep going. And we'll cut down before it gets a counter here. Another Calyx dealt with. Okay, free Atraxa, and that might just do it here. Free portal coming up, which we can put in hand. Enchantment instance, and an untapped land. Prankster on top. Just start with a free portal, might already lead to a concession. And that does it, awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and uh, our hand seems fine. Got a few ways to mill, bit of interaction. Now we're looking for a discard outlet like a Bitter Triumph. Opponent Black Green Cottage could be an issue. They've got two of them already, since that can uh, mess with our graveyard. Go for the throat is probably going to be decent in the matchup. It's not a permanent, but I also want to draw towards a land and a squirming emergence. So this one's close. I guess I'll keep it. And then we can pass with all our instants available. Trespasser is a nightmare for us. Luckily, no permanents for them to get rid of. And this is going to happen no matter what. Alright, land is good. So now we can maybe use a prankster and then still gaze. Should have considered main phasing something to keep it daytime. Glissa, not as bad as Trespasser, can also die to go for the throat. There's our emergence. Seems like what I want here, or we can take another Prankster to keep digging, since I'm pretty light on permanence and graveyard. Close call. Yeah, I might find another Emergence or Founding later. I guess Glissa can take out Founding, so we'll need to answer that first. And then I also want a Go for the Throat for Cottage. 
So if I'm going for Prankster, that could be kind of rough. So I'll just get the Emergence now and then hope to mill more permanents with Gaze. Found an Atraxa. Cut down doesn't do much. So we're at five permanents. I'm probably going to let Glissa hit me. And then uh, we can flash back Gaze while keeping up Go for the Throat for Cottage. I guess we could also just go for the Throat Glissa. Shieldred seems scarier. I guess I could start with flashback gaze and see where we're at. Alright, two more permanents, so we're at seven. So we can get back Atraxa already, which is probably the play here. And then I'll still have some mana untapped to try and remove Glissa. Alright, Bitter Triumph is good. Emergence is great. Untapped land and founding. So we've got the tools we need. Can save myself a bit of damage if I'm going for Bitter Triumph. Could also Founding and then play Bitter Triumph for free, taking out Glissa. And then discard one with a Multiverse, since we have another one anyways. Okay, definitely in the driver's seat now, back to daytime. Liliana can answer Atraxa, but we can bring it back right away. Or go for a one with a multiverse. Portal is also an option. Pun could still have disenchant effects. One with a multiverse is probably still better value in the long run. Cast maybe a one mana consider. Don't need a land. And play a land of the top. Play Prankster. Alright, really hoping they can't remove my enchantment here. I guess I haven't cast my free spell yet, so that'll be a consider. And there's Atraxa. Okay, had I cast a 1 mana consider, I guess I still would have been able to cast a free Atraxa. Virtue, that's fine. Alright, so I think we're good now. Can discard a land. Put on discarding shield root even. And, uh... Can go for Squirming Emergence here. Get back another one with a Multiverse. There's Portal coming up. So we can play two spells for free. This is one of them. And Decking is still potentially a concern, especially for opponents playing Breach the Multiverse, which can mill quite a few. So I'll just play my free Atraxa for now. Find Bitter Triumph, which can answer Liliana. Don't know if I want anything else, really. Suppose Abandoned Mire could come in handy. And then, uh... I guess we'll take Portal and Founding. 16 cards left. Alright, that's enough for a concession. Could maybe play Founding off the top. Play the free Triumph. Or we could just uh, be content with Liliana taking out Atraxa and then bringing it back with Portal. Either way, opponent explodes. On to the next one. 
Okay, we're on the draw. Hand is reasonable. Lots of ways to fill the graveyard. Triumph discarding portal. Facing Esper. Hopefully it's more of a creature deck as opposed to pure control. But no turn to play. Start with uh, maybe Gaze so I can flash it back next turn. If I find green mana, it's going to be a little awkward since we kind of still want to draw green mana. So that's maybe still a reason to consider. And then next turn we can double Gaze. And a Prankster's fine. Can fill the graveyard. So we'll go for Prankster most likely. Still need green mana, still need Squirming Emergence. But at least our opponent's not doing anything. And a Liliana's next also dies to a bit of triumph. Can probably just pay three life now. Happy to help, but I'm the and uh, could still prankster now and triumph next turn. Not really in a hurry to decide either way. I'm tired of your secrets. Ooh, farewell. Glad they discarded it. So opponent didn't know we were a graveyard deck yet, now they probably have an inkling. So, yeah, let's just use our prankster. Find Squirming Emergence, perfect. Now we just need green mana. And, uh, we're not upset if Liliana keeps plussing for a while. Could also see taking it out with better triumph. Just pass. And our opponent's not even going to activate Liliana, so that tells us enough. So we can Prankster and then Gaze. They want to Gaze first and see a green source that we want to keep on top and then mill it. Find another Emergence. And there's our green mana. Could keep two lands on top. Probably only need one green source, unless our opponent's got some land destruction, I guess. We're going to be at 7 permanent, so if I put another land, we're at 8, which is still not quite enough for getting back portal, which isn't all that great either way. Um, if I put another land in, I could also, of course, gaze and then still emergence, so sure. Try this approach. And then Atraxa, Portal, keep Emergence on top. And then try Emergence. Got three we can cast. Starting with probably Portal, which can eventually get back Atraxa. It's harder for them to interact with. Although going for Atraxa right away is also reasonable. That opponent's got the Counterspell, sadly. Can proliferate Liliana. I guess that's now potentially a concern. Can better triumph it next turn. And an Icker Moon Gauntlet. Alright, opponent's bringing the spice. Augury can proliferate. Okay, so all of a sudden our opponent can ultimate Liliana. I really need that green source to cast Emergence. So hopefully they don't put it in a separate pile. Alright, luckily we get to keep our green mana. And then Emergence putting in Portal. Hope to dodge farewell. And then next turn we can take care of Liliana. And Liliana proliferates. So we don't have to discard. Now if our opponent can exile all our copies of Atraxa, we're gonna have to get there with Prankster, which is not gonna be pretty. Alright, get back Atraxa. Finding another Atraxa. Better Triumph and a land, make it black-green. 
So we can answer Liliana now. Can easily pay three life. And then still play a prankster, protecting from another edict effect. Can expect them to have more planeswalkers if they're running double gauntlet. Opponent passes. Get back prankster. And attack. Possible our opponent's gonna set up a sweeper like Sunfall. For now, just gonna play a land and pass. Don't think I need to play another prankster. Emergence. I guess we could just flashback gaze in case I mill one with a multiverse I can put it in play. Those don't seem very useful. Right, so we'll just pass and then flashback gaze end of turn perhaps. Also have to be careful that we don't get milled out by an opposing Jace or breach the multiverse. And Liliana. The gauntlet triggers go to waste. When I win, you're telling me what you know about the Raven Man. And we'll get rid of a prankster. Even though I could maybe reanimate Atraxa by sacrificing it, just wanna get the game over with. And there's one with a multiverse, which we can now bring back. I can leave the Dark Slick Shores in the deck, I suppose. Get back Prankster. Just gonna attack the opponents for starters. See if there's a response. And then attempt Emergence on one with a multiverse. And then we can still Triumph. That worked. There's another emergence on top. Can secure a second portal. Unlikely to make a huge difference. And then, um, yeah, could take out Liliana. Could maybe keep up bitter triumph at instant speed. And for now, pass. Six mana, is it time for farewell? That would be painful. Eternal Wanderer. Okay. Opponent going for counters on Liliana. So now what? Probably want to keep Triumph to answer the Eternal Wanderer. They will get to activate it first. Maybe they're just going to try and clean up both creatures. Alright, so they're going to leave me with Prankster. So I could now respond and take out Liliana. So they don't get a chance to activate it and then Prankster can finish off Eternal Wander. Seems like a good line. Fine. I know when I'm not wanted. My blade has no equal. And then get back Atraxa. And Prankster. Want to be a little careful here and not take too much. All right, that's enough for a concession. All right, so yeah, pretty important that they discarded Farewell early on when they didn't have an idea that we were on kind of a graveyard deck. But from their perspective, we could have just been blue-black control. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Can fill the graveyard. Founding can cast a free Bitter Triumph. And then hopefully mill some permanents and uh, eventually find a squirming emergence. Opponent's a blue white. No creatures early. Start with consider. And a prankster, I don't mind. And we found the emergence too. So everything's coming together. Could cast a Founding and then play the Prankster for free. Would be kind of annoying if this gets countered, however. 
So maybe we can just use the prankster at instant speed during the opponent's turn and waste their mana. And then if we wait on founding, then we also make it more likely that we can cast Emergence out of the graveyard with the final chapter. Opponent's got a mastermind, good to know about. Could take that out now, could just take the hit and then uh, still go for the prankster plan. A 1-3 also blocks Mastermind pretty well. Okay, do we want a backup emergence in case one gets countered or keep the cut down for a relevant interaction? And then we can cut down the Mastermind. Close call. Because we have founding, we have access to emergence from the graveyard potentially. Let's actually go for a cut down here. And then now, what's the plan? Play Prankster, keep up cut down, and we can also gaze. So we want to keep up blue black. That works. The main counter spell we need to keep in mind is Make Disappear, so building up our mana to eventually pay for its importance. Opponent does nothing, so we can gaze, no need to cut down. Okay, one with a multiverse and land go to the graveyard. Could keep a bitter triumph, has more interaction. Atraxa, we certainly don't mind discarding. And then now we could start with founding and maybe play a cutdown for free on the mastermind. Let me maybe start by attacking. Start from chapter 1, and then we can still flash back a gaze. Opponent's actually drawing with the Mastermind, that's fine. So they get a bit of value. We're currently at 4 permanents in the graveyard, and Black Mana makes an appearance. Okay, so that might unlock a few more plays, such as a Bat. Can try and snipe or squirming emergence. But we have double bitter triumph. So I'm not in a hurry to take out the bats. Goes for squirming emergence, makes sense. And then we'll be flashing back a gaze. Can keep the cut down, put permanence in graveyard. And mill another four. And our current permanent count is nine, so yeah, emergence is good to go. So we can attack. Cut down the bats, try emergence, which currently can get back one with a multiverse. And then if they have a counter spell next turn, we get to emergence again with the final chapter. And hopefully one of the two will resolve. And then we could immediately cast Atraxa. Right, opponent did have a MIG disappear. Okay, hopefully the second one works. Oof, Lord Skitter. That can exile one of our cards. And then now they have Make Disappear with Casualty available too. By just sacking a rat token. Well, still gonna try. And then we can better try and Lord Skitter at least so it doesn't stick around. Alright, that actually worked. Opponent's got a Mastermind, a response, does that matter? Not really. So we can still better try and Lord Skitter, but we can wait and see what we find. Portal, good to discard. Untapped land. 
enchantment and then uh, go for the throat. So we can just go for the throat, a Lord Skitter. And attack for one. Okay, so we don't have our one with a multiverse in play. But we're still building up towards portal. If we find another squirming emergence, we can maybe set that up. And between prankster and founding, I guess founding can eventually also go for emergence. Or next turn we can start from chapter 3 and cast it. Yeah, founding plus emergence is kind of the pairing that this deck needed. Being a permanent, milling cards, being able to get it back with Emergence early on, and then eventually getting back Squirming Emergence with Founding as well. So there's plenty of synergy. Air tie. During the opponent's turn, if they waited during my turn, they could have triggered Mastermind. Prankster can hold off any attacks. And then, uh, let's see here. So there is no one with a multiverse. Getting a portal in place still pretty sweet. So do we have a portal in Graveyard? We do not. I can get one with Bitter Triumph, discarding portal, and then we can still Founding and Squirming Emergence. So that's the plan. And yeah, our opponent has seen enough. Founding into Squirming Emergence, get back Portal, wipe the opponent's board, and then we'll be able to get back Atraxa turn after turn. Awesome. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hands lacking black mana and interaction. A lot of ways to mill and to try and find our Squirming Emergence. I'll try it. And then... Could just go tap land and then be guaranteed to turn to founding, at least if Thalia doesn't show up. And then uh, play the prankster for free. Get the ball rolling. Because right now if I gaze and I see a land, I kind of want to keep it. But we also want to put more permanents in the graveyard. Put on on angels with turn to Jada instead. Alright, change of plan. Founding, play a free bitter triumph while we don't have black mana. And discard portal. And then I might put an upkeep stop to gaze and try and hit my land drop. And uh, yeah, Dark Slick Shores is good. Another bitter triumph I could keep on top. That's something we can hit with Prankster, I suppose. Sure. Although, never mind. I'm gonna mill for force. I should have put it in the graveyard then, just to dig a card deeper. And then now, probably just gonna end up using the prankster, but we can do that at instant speed. Did mill three lanes, which is good. Still missing squirming emergence. Overseer, we can block with a prankster. Their opponent a red-white. The red could be for Archangel of Wrath. Alright, milled a couple more permanents, found another prankster. Again, could have put an upkeep stop with uh, Gaze. Now I don't mind Bitter Triumph. And uh, discarding Gaze is an option. Although we could still cast it for one mana, so I'll just pay the three. And then we'll pass it back. Quick check on our permanent counts. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can get back portal already. Oof, uh, Boonbringer Valkyrie is going to hit hard. Well, just got to hope to find a Squirming Emergence. And then uh, next turn get back a portal, which should be pretty effective. There we go. And do we want to cut down as well? Don't think that'll be super necessary, but 
maybe once we wipe the board, we'll need to deal with some smaller creatures. And then there's no Atraxa to reanimate, but we can just bring back the opponent's creatures. Archangel Wrath can potentially burn us out. And for now, Valkyrie makes sense. Okay, so next up can mill with Prankster to try and find removal and at the very least present a 1-3 blocker. Find another Emergence. I think go for the third is more important since we don't have anything else to reanimate. And then I suppose we can wait. See if they can remove the Valkyrie. And Jada is acceptable. Can cut down Jada instead. And get back maybe an Overseer, maybe an Archangel anyway. Although it's going to be without Kicker, but yeah, her opponent has seen enough too much for them to handle. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and what do we think of this hand? Well, tap land on one can quite consider, but if we find a second land, then founding play either prankster or a removal spell for free. Yeah, it has potential. We'll need to find black mana at some point. Turn one siren, zero point blue white. Okay, now we can start with founding and then make use of the first chapter and play the prankster. And yeah, we milled some goodies, lots of permanence as well, which is important for emergence. All right, we've got all three colors now. Keep milling. And yeah, that's a bunch more permanence. So we're at six already. So we're very close to comboing off. For now, we can keep up a two mana removal spell for Schooner and cast to consider at instant speed as well. So we can wait for them to crew and then Bitter Triumph since go for the throw it doesn't work. Opponent's going to explore as well so we get even more value. And I'll pay the 3 life. Don't have any permanence to discard. And then we can still consider hopefully putting a permanent in the graveyard to enable emergence. Our opponent might have a counter spell. We can also make use of the final chapter of third path to get back, let's say, a cut down. And yeah, land in the graveyard. Although if I keep the land, I can both cut down. I guess we don't have double black for emergence as well. So drawing a black source would be ideal. So now I can maybe consider and then still go for emergence. Although, yeah, if our opponent has a counter spell left, we're going to be pretty sad. So maybe we have to kind of wait it out. And then for now, still like consider to maybe find another Squirming Emergence. And then we can play Prankster as a blocker for their 1-1 flyer. So we've got 7 permanents, which is enough to get back Atraxa. Not quite enough to get back one with a multiverse. So we'll cast to consider. Founding all sends up in the graveyard, so now we're up to eight actually. And we found a prankster. So yeah, we could already go for emergence here, but the two mana has me concerned. So I think we keep the prankster. As it's just a good card in this type of matchup. And then just cast a prankster. Keep up consider. And we'll see where we end up. Opponent is likely to tap out at some point. And then we'll have essentially a 3 mana, either one with a multiverse or a Traxa. 
opponent did nothing with the two untapped mana. They don't have a good attack. And the air opponent concedes, I'll take it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. A couple ways to mill, and then Emergence is ready. Don't mind playing Island turn 1. And then start with Consider. Could keep another Consider, since it's not a permanence. Now we can both Consider and Cut Down. And Akami. It's her opponent green-white enchantments. There's an argument for actually casting Gaze to put more permanents in the graveyard, so next turn we can flashback Gaze and still cut down. Only see one permanent, but I don't really want to draw another cut down necessarily. Keep the consider. Could also cut down now. And then if I find another blue source, I could both flashback Gaze and consider. Now let's just take our draw step. Play line and pass, keep up more options at instant speed. And Weaver triggers Kami. Yeah, I guess we can take out Kami. The only problem is if we then take out Weaver, they'll get Kami back unless we wait until end step, which is also an option. Alright, let's just prevent the damage here. And then flashback Gaze to be mana efficient. And founding, I actively want to draw Bitter Triumph, maybe not quite necessary. And then Emergence, I don't think we want to draw, we already have one in hand. Okay, so founding, start from chapter 1, play a free consider. And then if I draw land, I wouldn't mind. Because then we can go for the Throat Weaver in the opponent's end step to prevent Kami from triggering. So we're in the end step, and then now we go for the Throat so Kami doesn't trigger at the beginning of the end step. Now we are out of removal. So don't have an answer to a Calyx if that shows up, just another Kami. Okay, mill for four. Try and find some permanence. We only have three at the moment, so still a long way to go. Probably gonna play and flash back a gaze now. Visitor into an enchantment. A naturalist. Okay. So take four here. Do we have any curve toppers? Portal had nine permanents, so still a long way to go there. Opponent's not even attacking, maybe they forgot. And uh, Gaze is good value to put in the graveyard as well. And uh, yeah, I think just put everything in graveyard once again. The upkeep stop didn't quite work. Now we can get back a removal spell. And then still play Prankster. So we can go for the throat. Or cut down, I guess take out the Kami. Versus take out Naturalist is the decision. Naturalist could be scarier than a Kami here. Since it helps the opponent deploy more from their hands and maybe make the portal less effective. And then now I can still consider as well. So we probably should have been at 16. Let's consider now. Put another permanent in the graveyard. If I keep it, I can emergence for 7. Which does not get back portal. Could also get back our uh, saga, which can eventually also get back squirming emergence. So that's also an interesting synergy. Let's say we Emergence Founding, starting from Chapter 2, Mill for 4. Next turn this can get back Emergence. Mm, I guess it's a little risky for opponent has an answer to our enchantment. 
Let's just put this in graveyard, keep it simple. I right, found a founding anyways. So now we could play it milling for four and then next turn emergence. And yeah, it's going to be a portal here with 11 permanents in the graveyard. That's going to clean up the opponent's board nicely. So if we're at minus four, eight life, still pretty healthy. Could have also gone for one with the multiverse and then cast a free emergence on the portal while having a one with the multiverse on the battlefield. But we can do that next turn. And then now we're looking for an Atraxa. If not, we can reanimate the opponent's creatures. Can get back their Calyx. And there's a one with a multiverse. Yeah, I think one with a multiverse is reasonable here. And then play another one for free. Even get to trigger Calyx. Play a land of the top. Can use the adventure for free. And maybe hit a removal spell. An emergence will do. And then we can still pay two mana for Gopher to throw it, or we can emergence another portal. Both work. Alright, so that should pretty much wrap things up. Haven't found an Atraxa yet, it seems. But we can use the opponent's creatures to end the game as well, or we can keep digging towards Atraxa. So how about a Weaver and a Naturalist? And then there's an Atraxa we can cast for free. And then we can probably clear two of the opponent's creatures. Finding more removal here. Alright, this game's over. And go for the throat. And better triumph. Attack. And uh, copy one with a multiverse. Don't see that every day. Okay. That should do. 12 cards left. Don't want to end up decking somehow. Can play Prankster, I suppose. And I'll give up on my free spell. Okay. There we go. I guess we can uh, make sure we end the game here. Let's see, opponent's got two blockers. So, okay, maybe dig towards another removal spell. 11 cards left. Now nah, let's just attack. If they want to prolong their suffering, be my guest. Opponent's at one. A lot of ways we could have uh, presented lethal this turn, but I honestly don't see how enchantments gets out of this mess. So I don't mind playing more turns. Okay. We're at a point where we're stealing the opponent's cami. Okay. 
And that'll do it. Alright, so we got to see our squirmy portal deck in action, and I've got to say, the deck is pretty sweet. Having interaction while working towards the combo means that we're not just dead to aggro decks like some other reanimator decks maybe, and uh, yeah, can potentially pull off the combo on turn 3 if we're incredibly lucky with founding enabling everything, and then as I mentioned during the gameplay, founding is just the perfect piece to the puzzle to this deck, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it ended up. Even if the top end is quite similar to other combo decks we might have played in the past, we often end up cheating a Traxa and one with a multiverse on the battlefield, but at least it's with an interesting twist. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.